Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. In today's video, we have a special guest all the way from the UK, it's Juno Birch. Hello, I have arrived. Yes, that's happening. Oh my goodness, my. Oh my God. <laughs> it's I'm so, so happy good to you're see you, here. my darling. <laughs> now, I have been a fangirl of yours for a while now. You have. I also, did. I want to say, we're on Palm Springs, aren't we? Yes. And I want to move here. So does anyone want to marry me, please? Because <laughs> I love it here. But they will inherit a Phil, I imagine, and a, and a Cyril. Yes. <laughs> Phil is the pet that's going to travel. <laughs> <laughs> now, today I thought we'd just do a little makeup and have a little kiki. Yes. Do you know what? Cheers. Yes. Do you have kikis in the UK? We say kiki. I mean, okay. kiki is a party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, scissor sisters. <laughs> How, where am I going to start, my darling? Where am I going to start? Now, you're already blue, and you mentioned to me before that you do your foundation before you get on camera. Because... Well, I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever right now, my darling. This is all natural and gorgeous and smooth. I've really? just exfoliated. Yes. Wow. You I can say, touch like, if you want. In person, it is so clean. No paint. No paint. You've seen it here first. <laughs> <laughs> right, before I start though, I need to remove my sunglasses. Yes, that's happening. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <sighs> it's even more stunning in person. <laughs> oh, I am a bit tired, so I could use some makeup. Yes, that's happening. Let's do it. Let's become proper ladies. Yes. I haven't cream contoured today. Sometimes I cream contour and sometimes I don't. But today I decided that I'm just going to powder contour. Really? Your eyebrows vanish so fast. <laughs> I, it is a trick I have perfected because I have very dark eyebrows and I learned that I just have to use full-on grease paint. Oh. This Derma Blend. Do you powder and then put the foundation on top of that? I learned that from Trixie, yes. I use this powder here and powder it first. It's the only thing that doesn't eat through the glue. Ooh. Juno, I have to ask, like, what inspired the Juno Birch character? Um, honestly. This can sound very pretentious. I love it. Give but, it to me. Um, I when I was a teenager, when there was a fancy dress party or um, a Halloween party, um, I just always painted myself blue, and I don't know why. I, I like I feel like it just washed out all of the dark eyes, everything, and I just thought I looked so gorgeous. So there's pictures of me in like 2013, 2012, just full head to toe painted blue at parties for no apparent reason whatsoever. People were like, are you Mystique? Are you Nightcrawler? What are you supposed to be? <laughs> and I just thought it looked really gorgeous. Just, I'm stunning. That's yes, what I am. I'm stunning. <laughs> so it just kind of evolved from that when I started doing my um, drawings and sculptures, I started to create this gorgeous um, alien woman from the 1960s who was trying to disguise herself in the human world. And I kind of just embodied that when I started doing drag. I love your sculptures too, because they're all like these big, giant breasted alien women uh -huh. with bouffants and glasses. Like very, I love the aesthetic already. <laughs> very, very your aesthetic actually, very big boobies. I love me a good old 1960s or 50s bombshell. Right. I'm, I'm gonna use my favorite blush today. Trixie Cosmetics. She I paid me to too. say this. No, I'm just kidding. It is actually my favorite blush. I, mean, because... I love how clean yours is compared to mine. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've been through the fucking dust bowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard for me to find blush that goes on blue skin really well. And this color, because it's a raspberry, it's a bit purpley tone, goes on really gorgeously. I have to say, it commends to you for having the blue skin because I tried it once and I just looked muddy. <laughs> like, I looked horrible with blue skin. <laughs> I tried it, no, it didn't work. And like, you've perfected that process. I've noticed like the skin in person is flawless. Thank you. It's probably all of the estrogen tablets that I'm taking. <laughs> like drew you to this 1960s aesthetic. I think it was, um, Tim Burton has a very kitsch vibe. Yes. Which is very sort of inspired by the 50s and 60s. So that's always been there in my head. But also, I love th the whole alien thing goes with 50s and 60s so much because the, the hair is so big, it's easy to disguise the brain. Yeah, absolutely. 
<laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? So your hair is literally full of secrets, is yes, what you're saying? Yes, full of secrets. Except like when I wear a swimming cap, it's just it's just so flat and tiny. I have a tiny <laughs> little skull underneath this. We have to construct a special swimming cap for you that has a bump in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yes! <gasps> we should go to the pool with like giant barnets on. Have you ever seen, there are these 60s, I'll send you the video if you haven't. It's like an advertisement for 60s wigs and they have a pool cap wig. Where is a rubber pool cap with a wiglet sewn on top of it? Oh, I've seen that! <laughs> I've seen that! Oh my god. Pathé. Yeah. Um, scenes. With a little rooster. <laughs> yes! Chicken Run! <laughs> it's the same brand as Chicken Run. So where are you living at the moment, my darling James? At this moment, I am living in Las Vegas. Oh my goodness, Meg. And I have to say, like, moving was the best decision I ever made. Me too. I, I grew up in a, um... I've already made a mess of my eyebrow. Goodness me. I've distracted you, I'm sorry. Oh my God, how very dare you. <laughs> um, so I grew up in a t little town called Frodsham, which is in the Shire. Like and where the hobbits are from? Yes, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and it's full of old ladies and charity shops, um, which is gorgeous. So good vintage shopping, I yeah, imagine. Yeah, I fit right in there. Um, and, but, you know, I prefer the city. Well, you're a cabaret star. You can't stay in the country. Yes, I love cabaret. This is a challenge to do the eyebrows from far, but well, I think it will work out stunningly. Well, what we're going to do is you can put your eyebrows on. I'm going to powder my face and we'll be right back. <laughs> yes. And we are back. Hello. <laughs> yes. Well, I've, I've started doing my brow bones. Don't they look gorgeous? Your eyebrows are so thin. I envy the fact that you can pull it off. I, I, I rest my wrist like this and then I just go like a circle. They're like almost flapperish the way you do yes. that. I love it. It's like a 1930s brow with 60s hair <laughs> and like 80s jewelry. I just always mix, mix the periods up. But it works so well with your character. It's just like she just got a pile of magazines and decided this yeah. is my beauty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want this. I mix so many different periods together because I'm not very good at pinpointing what's from where. Oh, this is what I do my powder with. I know what everybody's gonna say. That's not good for you, you're gonna die, but it's gorgeous. I mean, so. I can't talk. I had the air spun right here, so. <laughs> we're both playing a dangerous game. Yeah, people say talc is so bad for you, but we're breathing in it anyway, aren't we? Oh yeah, we're in California right now, so the air we're sipping right now is not clean. So I wanna know what made you think I'm gonna play The Sims online. Well, right. So, you know, in the middle of lockdown when it was all chaotic and there right. was, uh, nobody had anything to do and we couldn't go onto the stage. I always play The Sims anyway in my own time. And I always get this guilty feeling when I play games because I feel like I'm not doing anything productive. So my idea of playing The Sims in drag and making videos was like, kill two birds with one stone, entertain myself while entertaining other people. But yeah, I got so into The Sims when I was in lockdown that I was literally having fights with pretend people in the screen. So uh, hence the Joy Desperate thing. Like the characters you've come up with, you're like townies are just, <laughs> 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 like <laughs> it is, um, first off the faces on some of them, like oh Kristen Singles. Oh, Chris Single, Chris Singles is an absolute icon. <laughs> but she, she kind of looks like um, Predator. What I love though is like they have these ridiculous faces, but they're wearing like the most common outfits you can think of from the stock. That's what I love. <laughs> like they're just trying to fit in with society, but their faces are so f***ing warped. Wait, can't say that. You can, can say I believe oh, you. I, okay. <laughs> just giving you more job when you're editing. That's fine. Do you edit your own videos? We take turns. It's a team here. What does Phil do? Nothing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Phil is my assistant, so he he literally runs around after me. And also, when I'm having a mental breakdown, he calms me down. I also heard he's a very talented musician. Is that true? Oh, yes, he is. He absolutely is. He's got albums out on um, Spotify. Is he the one that recorded your theme song? Yes. Wow, yes. really? Yeah. Um, but I can't sing, so I was like, trying to sing but laugh couldn't stop laughing at the same time so we just ended up putting it in <laughs> but it's perfect though like it's so chaotic it matches the energy of the channel I yes love it. now i have to know as far as sims goes what is the top game for you 
The Sims 2. I love it, yeah. The Sims 2 is the best because... It's chaotic. It's just chaos. <laughs> I mean, I love The Sims 4. The Sims 4 is very beautiful looking. It's very like Palm Springs. But The Sims 2, you can just leave, you just take your hands off the keyboard and or there's going down. Do you know what I mean? It's like the game would encourage you to be messy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and like The Sims 4 is more like, let's make waffles and have kids. <laughs> I always like The Sims 3 where you could just go in other people's houses. Yes, I <laughs> love that. Just go in someone's house and set it on fire. <laughs> Just light a firework so off in there. <laughs> I absolutely love your puppets that you make. Thank you. I, so gorgeous. Those of you who don't know, I surprised Juno the first day she was here with a puppet. <laughs> you will be seeing that on my tour. Yes, you will. A lot of puppets that you get, they're not usually always that great to work with physically but yours really move like incredibly well. Like the mouth on my Juno was hilarious. The one I gave you, it's actually a collaboration with this wonderful puppeteer named Langston who does a lot of my puppets. But he built the whole skull for me and I just honestly put her in Juno drag. Oh my so God. So I can't take that much credit for it, but I made yes. the dress and everything. Oh my God. Are they watching now? Hello, thank oh. you very much, my darling. I love you. Oh. He is a super fan, so he will definitely be seeing this. I went to the pool yesterday in drag and it was absolutely horrendous. I've been seeing you been terrorizing these people here at the Margaritaville. Yes, I've been, I've made so many babies cry. It's, I'm doing the God's work. But there was this woman that came up to me and she said, excuse me, can I have a picture with you? And I said, yes, but make it quick because I'm very hot, my darling. And she said, and I said, well, I said to her, I do always make babies cry. And the baby looked at me like this and the baby just went. <laughs> and I just went. <laughs> So has The Sims 2 recognized you yet? The icon Not that you Sims are? Not The Sims 2. Well, the, it, the Sims is run by EA Games. Yeah. Um, and I recently did a video for The Sims team, which was a birthday video to celebrate 22 years of The Sims on this planet. And it was amazing! I'm Isn't that glad. fab? They send you a plum bob or anything? No. Commemorate? <laughs> no. They didn't send me anything. But um, it, was a, it was an honor. It was an absolute honor. Also, you on Drag Race lately, Thank you. Oh my goodness, mate. Absolutely stunning. I have to say, I was very pleased with how well they captured my uh -huh. in real time. It's fully who I am. <laughs> <laughs> you are quite a witty bitch. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I screamed before when you texted me and you said, um, greetings, Margaritaville residents. <laughs> have they been sending you those two? Every day. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to your goddamn drink tasting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish my eye and I'll be right <laughs> All right, we are back again. We have arrived and we're already looking absolutely gorgeous, aren't we? I've looked over and your face is pretty much on. At yes. This point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a head start with the foundation. This is true, but you look gorgeous and I'm living. I know. Now, I hate to keep drudging up the sim. No, and I know. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> we love that kind of attitude in this house. You've got to tell yourself that you're stunning every single day, even if you feel like a piece of dog meat, because delusion is the key to confidence, my darling. I want to know, what inspired Joy Desperate? Well, honestly, I didn't make Joy Desperate. She was actually named she Joy was, Desperate? She was in the game. I was playing The Sims 2, and I was trying to do something specific in the game, and then this blonde girl with pigtails and a pink salmon top and some horrible jeans walked in. Horrible flip-flops as well. Oh yeah, she's and, a bad dresser. Yes, and she swanned in and I just hovered the mouse over her head and it said Joy Desperate and I, I don't know why but I found that absolutely hilarious. <laughs> she's desperate for joy. Yeah, and she kept hanging around the house for days while I was trying to kill certain sims and marry certain sims. <laughs> And then she just kind of became a recurring character. And then, then after that, um, I started bringing her into like my other games. Like I made like ten of them or like twenty <laughs> of them. So it's like an army of joy desperates I could torture in the videos. I love it though, because like she's got the most generic look, but yeah. she's the most iconic of all of your characters. At this she's point. the Karen of Sims. <laughs> But it's weird because Joe Jess has got this weird cult following. She has like <laughs> handles on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> she has Twitter. And that's not me running that account, by the way. I don't know who the f that is. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. It's all of your little Sims characters seem to have their own little fan accounts that just pop They up. do! They absolutely do. As far as like the lore goes, is there a specific character that you're really like clinging to as your favorite that's from the original lore? Well, Bella Goth is an absolute icon. Oh yeah. She is always an icon. But mean I, in The Sims 1. She was very mean. I remember that. She was mean? I'd always get into fights with her in The Sims 1. <laughs> <laughs> she was not a nice Sim. Bella Goth is an icon because she's part of the main storyline of The Sims 2. But Olive Spectre is one of my favourite Sims <laughs> because when you play as Olive Spectre, you get like a chair in front of a graveyard and it's supposed to insinuate that she's killed all these Sims and she's this horrible murderer. But she's so fabulous because she walked around in this like funeral dress and she's like a cruel auntie. So she, I think she is one of my favourite characters. I think that you are probably one of my favourite people to watch perform that I've never seen live. Really? Like, where have you seen me perform? There are videos of you on YouTube and like some of the stuff you posted on your stories. Oh yes. They crack me up with oh. some of the stuff you come up with. Oh, thank you. <laughs> One of my favorite drag queens in the whole world is Lip Synker. Oh yes. She really inspired my like performing aesthetic with multiple different um, spoken word bits and kind of having like a really happy song, but then having an absolute breakdown in the middle of it. I like that switch of emotion. And I kind of like to make things not make sense whatsoever. I like people to watch me and go, what? <laughs> what was the one that was exactly like that? Like I got my, that was my react. It was the supermarket. Oh yes. <laughs> I did, um, Barbara Streisand got a move as a checkout lady who's like mopping the aisle. Yes, there's going to be lots of that on tour. That's right, you're going on tour. You bring your cabaret over here. Yes, Attack of the Stunning, and it's going to be stunning with my good sister, Licorice Black. That is so kind of you to give that poor Licorice Black I know. work. Well, the only reason I've asked her to come is so that she can carry my bags, really. Aw. <laughs> so you look more beautiful by comparison? Yes, <laughs> so my teeth look whiter. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. <laughs> So I'm gonna go on to my eyeliner next. That's and what I'm doing. since I got Inglot gel, my life has been so much better. This is why I poke myself in the eye and call an ambulance. Well, you know what? Let's not do eyeliner on camera. Let's let's cut out for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James. Yes, dear. So <laughs> something wrong. I've just got mascara in my wig, and I'm supposed to be wearing this tomorrow. Oh dear. Can you help me? I'm about to have an absolute nervous breakdown. I feel like I'm the queen for this job. Let me okay, just reach right. over and grab help my me. scissors. What we're gonna do here is take a little bit of the tendril. You can stop shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, thank you, my darling. Oh my goodness, mate. Right, I'm not going anywhere near my face with the mascara anymore. If you can see any, it's just your roots coming in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Got a bit of hair there, my darling. Get rid of the So, you're going to Joshua Tree tomorrow. Yes, I am. I'm going into the middle of the desert and I'm absolutely terrified, but it's going to be stunning. It's going to be fine. They only film the hills have eyes there. The first one. The first one. That's so, even the first one's the worst. Well, I'm sure those hill people are probably long dead by now. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> What's. Like, what, what's the lifespan of inbreeding? I feel like that kind of weeds itself out after time. Yes, it must do. <laughs> You're English, you should know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was only us who thought that. I swear by doing lip liner with eyeshadow. Eyeshadow? Uh huh. I it's should try so that. There's more control. I'm gonna try that. Let's see. Because sometimes when I use a lip liner, it, it brings off the, the foundation, it kind of drags it off and it goes crummy. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have cleaned the blurash because now I'm serving sort of a chola moment. Oh, I kind of love that. <laughs> it's a little John Waters. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now, I, what I love about your lips is sometimes you do my old school lip that I used to do where you just do the, foul, the full circle. The full circle. The Betty Davis lip. Yes. Oh, like, I want to look like this. Ooh. Pete Burns. Yeah. Can you give us a Pete Burns? Do you have a good impression? Um, I haven't got up at eight o'clock in the morning since I was five. <laughs> I don't give a flying brown lump of poo what they've decided. I want that coat back within the next two hours. 
<laughs> but my favourite thing is when Davina McCall says to Pete Burns, the presenter of Big Brother, she says, um, you spin me right round is being re-released, are you excited? And then Pete's just like, I'm absolutely sick to death of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm nearing the end of my transformation. Me too, my darling. We're going to look stunning any second now. We're at the same speed. Hmm. Shall we cut to a to a final? I think are we at the final stretch? Yes. All right. I need to do. Are you putting lashes on? I just gotta put nostrils and lashes on. Yeah, me too. All right. Well, we wait. Are... Can we film you doing your nostrils? I think that's so cool. Can I watch? Yeah, of course. It's nice. Like that. And like that. It's like I had a nose job. Oh my god. I might do it now. Should we? Should, should do we it. I, I want to see what I look like too. Right, you ready, people? I'm gonna add some nostrils on. But if this looks horrible, I'm gonna blame you. Right here. Wait. Show me where. I only do the little tip here, so it's like the front of the nostril. Yeah, just to make it a little more elongated, like you put a nose job. Yeah, like that. Just a little triangle there. I got lipstick on my teeth! Oh my god! Oh my god, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Wait. Oh my goodness me. It's made my nostrils look ten times bigger. <laughs> okay, I don't know whether I'm a fan of this on me yet. I didn't say you had to do it, Juno. <laughs> I know, I can't! Stop! <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> it really has changed my face. Yeah, that's why I do it. I don't feel like I'm me until I do it. Now I can talk like this. Hi. <laughs> hey, wait. Hey, shapeshifters. Why am I Jennifer Coolidge? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's Jennifer Coolidge to me. We are going to put on our looks and we'll be right back with the final <laughs> result. <laughs> welcome back. This is the final result. Let me welcome to the stage my dear friend Juno Bird. Hello, I have arrived. Yes, that's happening. Oh my goodness me. Look at the black dots on my nostrils. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Yes. She's from out of town. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me put my glasses on. <gasps> now she's ready. Ta-da. The nostrils actually look really good. I like it. They do, actually. I do look more like an alien. Yeah. Now, Juno, I have to say thank you so much for coming here and hanging out with me. Oh, thank you for having me, my oh. darling. I absolutely love you to bits. And I love that you kept the gloves on the whole time. Yes. Well, now Drink I don't have those. to wash my hands. Yeah. And I don't catch COVID in your room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Vile, rude woman she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait for you to leave. Now, J <laughs> Now, do you know where can everyone find you? Um, on the street, begging for a green card in the middle of Palm Springs, my darling. Yes, that's happening. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can find me on YouTube on Juno Birch. Just Juno Birch on everything. But unfortunately, some absolute bastard took Juno Birch off TikTok. So now I'm Juno Birch 8. I'm sure as soon as you get verified, you can get it back. I can't get verified anywhere, my darling. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot that I have a blue check mark. Oh, well, let's shave your head. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye bye. 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 Now hit the outro. Click here and watch me do my makeup while I talk about my time on season 14, episode 5 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Or catch episode 2 of my new series, Iconic Blonde. It's about Jane Mansfield. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll eat all the cream out of your Oreos. So click it.